Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the Hugh Grant, Ashley Graham interview, which took place at the 95th Academy Awards ceremony? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of this case, move to a summary of the incident, then offer my analysis. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is an invitation-only trade association in Beverly Hills, California. It was established in 1927 to clean up the image of the film industry by preventing industry professionals from forming unions. Now its mission is to recognize and uphold excellence in motion pictures and to make the movie industry even more woke than it already is. Starting in 1929, the Academy has held an annual ceremony that gives awards to people involved with movies. This is referred to as the Academy Awards or the Oscars. Essentially, this represents an industry awarding itself. On March 12, 2023, the 95th Academy Awards were held at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles, California. At the 94th Academy Awards, which were held in 2022, there was a now notorious incident where the actor Will Smith slapped the comedian Chris Rock after Chris made a joke about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Will Smith was banned from the Academy Awards ceremony for 10 years, which threatened to remove the excitement from the event. He raised the bar as far as the expectation of violent encounters during the ceremony. Before Will Smith, people didn't expect any violence from the Oscars. The ceremony mainly caused harm through being intolerably tiresome. At the 2023 ceremony, people were closely watching to see if anyone else would step up to fill the shoes of Will Smith, like facilitate another controversial incident. As it turns out, this was a violence-free Academy Awards event, but there was an interesting non-violent encounter right before the main ceremony. It was much more civilized and refined than a slap, but no less entertaining, especially for those who appreciate wittiness and the arts. This takes me to a summary of the incident. Before the main ceremony at the Oscars, there is a tradition where various celebrities are briefly interviewed. Sometimes these encounters are called red carpet interviews, although at the 2023 Oscars, the carpet was really more of a champagne color. Either way, in line with this tradition, a 35-year-old model named Ashley Graham conducted an awkward interview with the 62-year-old British actor Hugh Grant. Here is a summary of this interview. Some of this is paraphrased. Ashley starts the interview by asking Hugh Grant what his favorite part about being at the Oscars was and how it feels to be at the Academy Awards. Hugh responds, It's fascinating. The whole of humanity is here. It's Vanity Fair. Hugh Grant was referring to a term which is well known in English literature. The term Vanity Fair was introduced in a book written in 1678 by John Bunyan titled The Pilgrim's Progress. This book featured a year-round town fair representing how people become preoccupied with idle pleasures. The term would later inspire the title to the 1848 novel Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. This book expresses a desolate view of the human condition and builds on the idea of rampant consumerism. The term Vanity Fair is generally used to describe the frivolous behavior of wealthy people. It condemns how people get attached to material items and criticizes shallowness, like how the rich throw luxurious parties for themselves and give each other awards. Hugh Grant's use of Vanity Fair was not meant as a compliment to the Oscars. His use of the term was actually a fairly bold rebuke of the event that he was literally participating in at the moment when he said it. In what should have been a fairly shocking moment for Ashley Graham, she responded in a way that was completely unexpected. She said, oh, it's all about Vanity Fair. That's where we need to get loose and have a little fun. It appears as though Ashley misunderstood the reference. She thought that Hugh Grant meant the Vanity Fair magazine Oscar after party. After this disastrous misinterpretation, Ashley continued with the interview by inquiring what Hugh Grant was most excited to see at the Oscars. Like, was he excited to see anyone win? 
Hugh Grant responded, No one in particular. A terse, albeit honest, response. Probably sensing that things weren't going too well, Ashley tried to save the interview by saying, Okay, well, what are you wearing tonight, then? Hugh answered accurately by saying, Just my suit. Ashley joked about how he didn't really make the suit. Hugh Grant explained that his tailor made it. Ashley then gave a shout-out to the tailor, who was never named. That must have been a highlight of the tailor's career. I don't think Ashley understood what a shout-out is. There's no such thing as an anonymous shout-out. That's just shouting. Not knowing when to quit, Ashley then asked Hugh Grant what it felt like to be in the movie Glass Onion. She wanted to know how fun it was to shoot something like that. Hugh responded by indicating he was barely in the movie. He only appeared for about three seconds. Ashley replied, But still you showed up and you had fun, right? To which Hugh Grant said, Almost. Mercifully, Ashley finally decides to end the interview by saying, Okay, all right, okay, thank you so much. It was nice to talk to you. Hugh Grant said, Yeah, and then rolls his eyes as if to indicate that Ashley's interviewing skills are substandard. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one. To offer some context to this interview, let's take a brief look at the reputation of Hugh Grant versus Ashley Graham. Hugh Grant is well known in the film industry for being low in agreeableness and is often described as grumpy. He's not a fan of the way the movie industry is operated. For example, he doesn't like the emphasis on box office earnings from the opening weekend of a movie. Hugh Grant has a pronounced interest in the arts. He was actually accepted into a PhD program in the history of art, but could not attend because he failed to secure a grant. I guess one could say that Hugh Grant was not granted a grant. He is known as a hard-working perfectionist who holds himself and his colleagues to a high standard. Historically, perfectionistic and serious actors have struggled with the ostentatious look of the Academy Awards ceremony. It makes sense, based on Hugh Grant's personality, that he would not be a cheerful participant at the Oscars. As far as Ashley Graham, she really doesn't have any meaningful experience in movies or television. Her claim to fame is being a pioneer in the plus-size model industry and promoting body positivity. Item number two, there has been a lot of debate about who was right and who was wrong in the interview. Many people initially sided with Ashley, but then we see this growing group of people advocating for Hugh Grant's position. I think that both Ashley Graham and Hugh Grant made mistakes in this interview. I characterize this encounter as unprepared meets sardonic. It was a mismatch in many ways. On one side, a superficial interviewer, and on the other side, a veteran actor with strong opinions. In the next two items, I will look at the mistakes that I think each of them made that contributed to this interview being a disaster. Item number three would be Ashley's mistakes. Red carpet style interviews are not known for being in depth but it's still important for the interviewer to be well prepared. Ashley did not appear to understand Hugh Grant's background and did not have any interesting questions ready for him. I can appreciate that she missed the reference to Vanity Fair, as many people would have, but it was clear that Hugh Grant was not referring to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Ashley should have just asked him a follow-up question instead of pretending she understood the reference. When he said the ceremony was Vanity Fair, she could have said something like, explain to me what you mean by that. Instead, she totally destroyed the message he was trying to convey. As far as the glass onion reference, technically Hugh Grant was in the movie, but asking about this small role is like asking an astronaut who just returned from the moon how it felt to pass the physical before the mission. I suppose passing a physical could be considered some type of accomplishment, but it's not really what an astronaut wants to talk about. Item number four would be Hugh Grant's mistakes during the interview. Hugh Grant's reference to 17th and 19th century English literature might have been a bit esoteric for a lighthearted, superficial, and feel-good interview before an awards ceremony. Why did Hugh Grant assume that Ashley would be familiar with the reference to Vanity Fair? It's almost like he was setting her up for failure. He was putting something out there that he knew she would not be able to connect with. Expecting Ashley to recognize the term Vanity Fair would be like expecting George Santos to recognize the concept of honesty. When Ashley brought up the Vanity Fair Oscar party, 
Hugh Grant could have said something like, Oh, that party's going to be great, but I was referring to the ostentatious nature of the Academy Awards. Instead, he let her mistake stand, and then was miserable for the rest of the interview. Rolling his eyes at the end was particularly impolite, although, in a sense, hysterical at the same time. Now moving to my final thoughts. I think the interview between Ashley Graham and Hugh Grant illustrated what can happen when someone unprepared encounters someone willing to expose that flaw. Some people have criticized Ashley Graham, saying that if a person is interviewing people at the Academy Awards, they should have a working understanding of literature and the arts in general. I can appreciate that argument, but I don't think Ashley was there to have meaningful interactions with people. She was there to conduct lighthearted interviews. Ashley made mistakes during the interview, but her lack of education in the humanities was not one of them. Rather, this simply reflects a general lack of interest in the arts. Unfortunately, this is something that is extremely common these days. Some people have criticized Hugh Grant, suggesting that he was extremely rude. I think that he was somewhat rude, but at the same time, he was authentic. At a ceremony filled with many people who are insincere, hypocritical, and obsequious, it's refreshing to see somebody with a sharp sense of humor who is generally disgusted with grandiose and extravagant displays of wealth and power. Ashley failed to conduct a decent interview and was called out for this failure in real time. She should thank Hugh Grant for the education. I think that Ashley Graham's reaction of feigning comprehension, as well as her tedious questions, actually supported Hugh Grant's original characterization of the Academy Awards as Vanity Fair. She ended up proving his point, which would represent her only successful endeavor during that interview. I think that Hugh Grant's witty and annoyed behavior was a metaphorical slap that far exceeded the dramatic value provided by Will Smith. Hugh Grant accomplished more without using violence. He reminded people that sometimes small talk can be so small it should not be tolerated. Those are my thoughts on the incident at the Academy Awards involving Hugh Grant and Ashley Graham. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.